Hey everyone, this is Craig. I just wanted to talk for a few minutes about the difference between campaign types and campaign templates and what you can do to better manage your future campaigns by switching around campaign types and choosing the right templates, that sort of thing, because um, it can be confusing. What a campaign type is, is a very specific type of campaign that has certain capabilities, certain mechanics. And I'm going to go through each of the campaign types and show you what those mechanics are. That's important because if you need your campaign to do something in particular, you need to make sure that the campaign type that you have offers those mechanics. Now, what a campaign template is, and what I'm referring to is everything you see in this gallery of templates. Campaign templates are, each one of these has a campaign type associated with it, but they're much more than just a campaign type. It's a bundle of a specific campaign type that's already been selected. The content of the campaign itself has already been added, meaning like a design and the email um, has already been scripted for you that's specific to this particular campaign. And all of the selections on each one of the steps when you create the campaign have already been selected for you. So all you need to do is go in there, maybe tweak a few things and you're ready to launch. So what I wanna do is launch a campaign template and then I'll show you what each of the different campaign types are and show you how to change the campaign type for the template you selected. So it's good to get started with the type of campaign um, that you want and worry about the appearance of it later. And the reason is, if the mechanics aren't there to do what you want, the campaign's not gonna succeed. Um, and the visual aspects of the campaign can be pulled in and imported at any time. So all of the templates you see here are also design templates that can be pulled in and overwritten so it looks just the way you want it to look and pulls in the content you want it to have. So I've always encouraged people to start with the function. So in this case, like if I wanted to have a campaign where I just want people to sign up, nothing fancy, just give them a form where they can um, you know, sign up for a conference or something like that, and then give them a quick thank you page to thank them for what they did. So I'm just going to pick a random one here and use this template. Once you say use this template, it's going to create a complete campaign. Now you'll notice that it starts you in settings, but it's skipped past this first campaign type selection. What we're gonna do is go back to campaign type. Before we start modifying that sign up campaign, I wanna show you a few of the different campaign types that are available. So notice that it automatically selected sign up because that's the type of campaign this is. But there's a few other types. Um, within engagement, you've got these, and within referral, you've got a whole set over here. The difference is a referral campaign the goal of that is to share some sort of link. You're trying to drive people to some website. Um, engagement campaigns, you're trying to collect user-generated content and you're trying to um, get more and more people to view that content and sign up for your contest versus having them go away from the contest to your website or some external site. So the different types of engagement campaigns we offer um, the contest types are video contests, photo contests, and essay contests. Those are the three different kinds of contests. Each of these have something in common, which is people are allowed to submit entries and other people can vote on those entries. And the winner is generally the person that gets the most votes. Essay contests capture text, video contests capture video entries, and photo contests capture images, some kind of photo or image. We also have galleries. Um, there are two types of galleries. There's a photo gallery and a video, video gallery. These are very similar to the contests, except there's no voting functionality. All they can do is submit their video or photo, and then you display those in a gallery, along with a little bit of information. Like for the photo gallery, they can submit up to two different photos and they can add a caption, which will be displayed along with their name. Um, and people can go to that gallery and check out all the different submitted photos or videos. And instead of voting, they can like them and they can share them. Now scrolling down to the bottom, we have sign up and coupon campaigns, which are similar, 
Um, the sign up allows you, it gives you an entry form where they can fill in their information and it gives them a thank you page. Not a lot of mechanics there. There's no user generated content that's displayed or anything like that. The coupon campaigns are a little different in that in general, when you choose a coupon campaign, instead of showing a form that people can fill out in order to um, you know, download something or get to a thank you page, the coupon campaigns um, give you a click to reveal. So when people click a button on your campaign, it's going to reveal some kind of a coupon code. And that will allow them to go to your store, your e-commerce store, and then enter that code and unlock a discount or something like that. I'm going to jump into the referral campaigns. Um, there's only four of those. We have a viral sweepstakes, and the viral sweepstakes um, offers a number of different referral options and engagement options, but basically the mechanics of it are more like a sweepstakes. It's going to randomly select a winner based on how many um, entries they have, and they can earn bonus entries for doing different things, like um, going to your website or referring people to sign up for the sweepstakes. <clears throat> We also offer um, testimonial campaigns. There's two of those, product and company, and the objective of the testimonial campaigns is to capture either text and or video testimonials from your customers and share those with their audience, which has a link to your website. So ideally, you would have a customer say that they love you and click here to go check them out. So the objective of this is to get people to see that testimonial in the news feed of their social network and then click on the link to go check out your company website or your company blog. The difference between a company and a product testimonial is mainly that a company testimonial, you can add these anywhere you want on your website, but every entry that's, that's submitted, every testimonial that's submitted will be visible in all of the other testimonial campaigns. They're all kind of grouped together. Whereas a product testimonial is mainly used by an e-commerce store. So let's say you have five products on your store and if somebody, you know, you have a scarf and you have um, a handkerchief. So on the scarf page, you probably don't want somebody saying, hey, I love this scarf. It looked great when I went out for a night on the town. You don't want that testimonial to appear on your handkerchief page you only want the handkerchief um, testimonials to appear on that particular page. So it keeps things separate, and that's the main functionality that you'll get when you choose a product testimonial. Finally, we have a refer a friend program, and the functionality here is um, really what it sounds like. It allows people to sign up for the program, and it gives them a short link that's tracked back to them, so they can share that link, and they can choose different goals, when their friends click on that link and then take whatever action you want them to take, then the original person that shared the, um, the link can earn things. You know, if, if 10 of their friends does X, then the, the uh, person who entered can get Y. And you can configure that however you want. But that's how the mechanics work. So all of our templates, even though we have over 60 templates, they all boil down to one of these campaign types. And the nice thing is, if you either make a mistake or you do this by design, you can change campaign types anytime you want. So if you design a campaign, you run it for a while, and you want to switch it over, um, you can very easily do that, and you will gain those mechanics of the new campaign type you switch to. So to change a campaign type, all you need to do is just check on the other campaign type, and that's it. And now when you jump into settings, you'll notice that you have settings that are based on photos and other things. And the sign up options will kind of gracefully go away and they won't mess up your photo campaign. Only settings that pertain to the photo campaign will be here. But the design is still there. The original design that you had selected is still here. And instead of showing the sign up form, now it shows photos. So, um, just to kind of restate what we started with, my recommendation is to first find a campaign that functions the way you want by using that campaign filter in the template gallery. Select one of those, and if it doesn't look exactly the way you want, you can always go into imported design and import the content blocks and the style 
and just pick the template that looks the way you want it to look. So if you don't like the look and feel of the one that you selected um, that had the right mechanics, you can very easily just pick a different look and feel and it will overwrite everything you have. So the functionality is still there. All I did was overwrite the look and feel of this campaign. If you have any questions about this or how to choose the right campaign, um, just reach out to us in chat and we'd be happy to discuss that with you. Thanks.